Kyle. Long time since I've been live. So this is going to be a bit of a different type of live. Um, going to be going into a few things that I received. I got some tea accessories and a handwritten letter. I'm going to share with you guys. And I, I forgot my tea. So excuse me. I got to go back and get it. I don't have my backdrop up today. So y'all are going to get to take a sneak peek at my background. Which I get. Getting text and everything. Be right back. I gotta get my tea. Hold on, y'all. I'm a So, got a new cat, Fancy. And here she is. Let me see if I can get her. Hi, Fancy. Hi. This is Fancy. Say hi. She's like, she's not like Velvet. She's not used to the spotlight. Say hi. Isn't she pretty? There's something in your eye. Was that an eye booger? Ew. Let's get that in. Can't have that on camera. Okay. So this is fancy. <laughs> we adopted her like two weeks ago. We rescued her. She was just sitting there in a little cage that's about this big, looking sad. So we went and got her. And now she runs all over this house. If y'all hear any noise that I'm having, that's like hammering or whatever, that's I'm having floors put in downstairs. So it's very loud down there and all the furniture had to be rearranged and moved into the kitchen to the bathroom and the closet so I could barely get dressed this morning or do my hair or my makeup as y'all can see <laughs> I could not get to my makeup I only could get to the makeup in my purse so this is what you're getting <laughs> but anyway I still have to go live the show goes on so what can I say mm -hmm. Okay, so we're, I didn't even blend my, see, this is what happens when you can't see the mirror and get ready in the morning. But I have a bathroom in here, but I had no makeup. Okay, so I bought something from this place on Etsy called Eternity. I think it was on Etsy or could have been on Amazon. I think it was on Etsy though. But um, I needed something. And it didn't arrive in time. But I still need it still. So it's like a little tea strainer that you can put on your cup. And if you have loose teas or herbs. Oh, it also comes with a little bowl to catch it again. And get into or whatever else. So it comes with this little stainless steel bowl and a little, I guess, to rest it on and take it off your cup. And I think this cup's too large. You probably need a smaller tea cup. But it goes like that, and you put your loose tea leaves in, and then you pour your water. And it's supposed to strain your tea leaves, and then you put it back in here when you're done. So a lot of you buy bulk herbs or make your own teas. So this would be like a good thing to have. Especially when you don't feel like dealing with a little tea strainer that has a little string on it. Oh, they sent me this really pretty card. And I'll, have, I'll try to link this below. But um, it's all the way from Hawaii. Because I think I ordered off Etsy. And, you know, those are individual sellers. This is from Hawaii. It says, thank you for the order. Enjoy true block orange pico heart tea. Aloha. Oh, they sent me some tea. They also sell tea. And it's like a tea pellet. It says a tea blend. Cleo Anthony and Cleopatra orange pico. pico? Anthony and Cleopatra. Oh, my God, yeah. 
This must be some aphrodisiac type stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to get. Okay, I'm gonna save that. <laughs> so, isn't the card pretty? She made her own card. I can tell. So, and then like on the back, it has the name of her business and her information. This is really cool. I might start doing this, but making thank you cards with my business stuff on it. That way you have a nice little thank you card as well as the info. So it even comes with like instruction on how to make the tea. So I thought that was cute. Isn't this a cute little idea? I love the, I love like supporting small businesses, a little bit just like that because they put so much care into their uh, products and whatnot. Okay. Next thing I got, and I have not linked anything, so I'm just, forgive me, y'all. I'm going to link it after the video goes live. So the Writing Witch um, on YouTube, she sent me another letter. I bought stationery from her. She sent me a beautiful journal, and now she sent me a handwritten letter. Ooh, I want to show you guys the stamp. So I'm trying to cover the info. But look at the stamp. Isn't it cute? It's like a holographic bat stamp. Yay. So let me open it. It looks like a homemade envelope. It's so pretty. I don't want to ruin it. I had a letter opener, I thought. Oh, it's not. Okay. So let me just go ahead and see what she sent me. If it's private, I'm not going to read it like out loud. I will show you if she sent me any goodies. Ooh, I'm sure she does. She has, but she always said me some goodies. Okay. So she made her own envelope. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Okay. I had sent her a card over the holiday, so she's just thanking me for that. And oh I don't know. Um Oh, she sent me some cute papers for my journal. And it's just like blank pages. She also sent me an envelope that she made. I'm going to write her back, I guess. So cute. And she sent me ooh, more papers. So this cute. I'll try to link her store because she does have an Etsy store where she sells her paper, stationery, printables, and things like that online. Like if you want to make a book of shadows or anything, you can definitely go see what she has on her page. Um, also, y'all should go check out her YouTube channel, uh, The Writing Witch. And she does journaling and videos and all sorts of things. So definitely go check out her. Oh, she sent a Happy New Year vintage looking card stock. She knows I like vintage, so this is really pretty. And it looks aged in the back, so I'm definitely going to be using that. This is so funny because I bought a bunch of frames, and I want to just put a bunch of vintage pretty cards and artwork in, a, in frames and hang them. Like they did, like in the Victorian era, how they had like all the different um, framed pictures on one wall. And these are going to go so good. And she sent me this one too. Isn't that cute? It's like a tag. So, oh, and some smaller tags as well. Oh, these are so cute. So she designed these and she does custom work as well. If you want um, any custom work done. So I'm so excited. I've been waiting to get some vintage stuff. I was actually going to go shop in an antique shop for something vintage to put in those frames, but I don't have to anymore. Thank you. Um, thank you, Writing Witch. I don't want to say her name because I don't know. I think she does say her name on the page. So. Afura, thank you, Afura. You're much appreciated. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm having my tea, but this is like, 
this is hilarious. Okay, y'all. I, I'm I was using this tea strainer for the type of tea that you're supposed to read the tea leaves on in, a, in this cup. Forgive me, but it was the only teacup I had available up here, and I wanted to show you how to use it. <laughs> All right, so I know I'm, I'm looking kind of plain today. It's only because I have on powder, brow, lipstick, and just a little bit of whatever I could find up here in my purse. Since my house right now is in chaos, it's not really in chaos. They're just putting floors down. And I could not get in my bathroom because they moved all the furniture in my from my bedroom, well, some of it, into my bathroom. And so I couldn't get in. I could barely get to my closet. I had to, like, squeeze through and pick out what I could reach. So also um, announcements. Okay. Announcements. If you are on my Patreon, if they are finished with my floor this Thursday, we're going to have movie night and we're going to be watching a movie and trying to decode it. If you guys are into that. Also, um, I'm going to try to set up the background and my surrounding area, you know, just, you know, to have some ambiance for you guys. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway during the um, movie night on the Patreon. So if you are a member of the Patreon and you are going to be there for movie night, um, I think it's the tier two and up gets the movie night. If you are on tier two and up for the movie night, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be two, doing two giveaways. And one will be a signed copy of my book, How to Manifest with Magic and Dark Energy. I'm going, to do it. I'm going to autograph a copy of that and send it to you. And I'm also going to be doing a copy of my other book from my other channel, Shira 7, The Wisdom of Shira 7. And I'm also going to do an autograph copy of this book. So two books will be given out as giveaways. If you already have my book, let me know. If you win, I'll send you something else, maybe a deck of tarot cards or something like that. Um, or I might throw in a third giveaway, you never know, for a deck of tarot cards or oracle cards. Okay, and that will be um, announced at the end of the movie night on my Patreon, the winner. So you're going to have to go on my Patreon to see if you won. I will announce the winner on the Patreon. And then you will write me on Patreon and I will give you, um, I guess, maybe like a that week, the whole week to write me back. If you write me back before then, great. Send me all your info and I will mail out your uh, prize, okay? Um, definitely gonna be fun. Due to copyright, I won't be able to show the movie or play the sound, but I'll have on earphones. And I will be watching the movie and you guys can watch the movie at the same time and I will be commenting on it. So I'm going to let you guys know, you know, when I press play, I'm like five, four, three, two, one, play. So everybody can press play at the same time and we can kind of watch and I'll comment back and forth on the movie. I'll read your comments. It'll be really fun and also a learning experience. Um, if you want to know the movie, it is listed on the Patreon. I may or may not change it. I'm not sure. I'm just giving everybody a chance to see if they have, um, if they're going to join the Patreon for movie night. And then I also might be doing other things in the future live on Patreon. That's, that's very interactive. I'm going to try to set up in my parlor. Yes, I have a parlor now. When they finish, um, I've been buying lots of cute stuff to decorate it with, and I'm going to try to film from in there. And there's less cats running around up in there, but I'm sure they'll find their way. Look at fancy. Fancy needs a fancier collar. This is the collar they, they, uh, they had when they gave her to us. So we're going to upgrade. We're going to upgrade to some nice, fancy collars. Yes, look at this. They, I told you I'm the cat whisperer. All the cats love you yeah. guys. Okay. The cat whisperer. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just sign up to the Patreon, Tier 2 and up, for Movie Night. I will announce the winner on Movie Night, on the video, and also in the Patreon group so that you guys can write me back on Patreon if you win. And I'm gonna, I might do three winners. So you have a bigger chance of winning because first of all, there's less people on the Patreon. And <laughs> the way that you're gonna enter is you're going, to, I'll have it set up where you can enter on a post, okay? You're gonna put your name down and blah, 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 and tell me something. I'm gonna ask you a question, you're gonna put your name down, and then I'm gonna pick three winners from the comments on the post. Um, I might put that up today, actually, before nine o'clock tonight. That's gonna to be up, so check it tomorrow or later this evening, and that's gonna be your chance to enter the giveaway, but you can go ahead and join the Patreon now and just peruse and check out all the stuff that's on there already. Um, there's lots of decoding on there, lots of um, PDF books you can read and so on and so forth. So there may be a Q&A if I pause it or if we pause or towards the end of the movie. That will be fun. Um, but if not, you can ask the questions in the comments, of course. There may be, there may be, there may be not, but we'll see. Um, it just depends on how the evening is going, you know. If I'm even able to sit up in the parlor, I might have to do it up here because of all the rearranging that's going on downstairs. And Fancy is biting, Fancy. She's a frisky cat. She's a frisky cat. She's like, I let her bite me though. <laughs> Cause why not? Okay. All right, now I'll look at some of your questions. So thank y'all for listening to that first part of the video. The link for my Patreon is in the description bar. I'm also going to link it here for you guys in a second. So let's see. Uh, where is my Patreon? Huh? I should be already prepared. Oh, and if y'all are on my other channel, she was my she was seven channel. We're also we're gonna do a tea time, a girls' tea time, or girls and ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're gonna have like a little mini tea party, and that'll be more of like Q and A and just talking, chit chat and stuff like that. So y'all are subscribed to my other channel. That's gonna be the week after this week. In turn, so there's the link to go ahead and join my Patreon. And if y'all are already members, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Um, You say you like my natural look. This is the force. Well, I mean, I've been wearing my natural hair, but this is like, because I could not get access to my all of my things this morning. <laughs> but I appreciate that still. Um, also, um, spring is on the way. Yay, spring. I don't know if I'm doing anything for spring break or... Mm, I, I don't know, but I'm going to find something fun to do. I'm definitely going to find If y'all have any suggestions, like, let me know in the comments. Y'all know where I live. I live in Texas. I've been pretending I live in Hallmark Town for the last two weeks because um, I live in a, uh, like, outside of Houston. And we have this little older part of our, um, our little town, and it looks like Hallmark Town with, like, the old buildings and, like, the little city hall buildings and the little antique shops and outside markets and stuff. It kind of looks like a little a Hallmark Town. So I've been walking around in there, walking in parks, going antique shopping, going to little cafes and stuff like that, pretending I'm in Hallmark Town. But um, it's been fun. Because <laughs> it is, you know, might as well do something. Um, I've been uh, antique shopping and thrift shopping all this week and last week. I have so much cool stuff that I found at a fraction of the price that it's worth. 
Um, it's crazy. I found this huge mirror that I'm going to hang above my fireplace in the parlor for $17. That mirror would have easily been over $100 somewhere else. So thrifting is the way to go. Do I get hit on by guys? Sometimes I do, yeah. Not, like, it just depends on where I am. Um, uh, you're glad you're having fun. I'm shifting the way I look at things and paying attention to my inner self. Good for you. Um, that definitely can improve your life so much if you are just looking at what it is you need to be doing, doing, focusing on what you need, um, or what you want versus what everybody else thinks or, um, what you, you know, what like happens in the past or worrying too much about the future, just, you know, live in the moment and, you know, the day that you're here, that's, that's the best thing to do because it's fun. It's the best way because you can get more done. Uh, most of us spend more time worrying about what tomorrow is going to bring versus or what yesterday was. And we're not focused on today. Um, peace, gorgeous. I missed you. Uh -huh. I just, thank you, uh, Sprinkle Sprinkle, I just got here, it looks like a new No, this is just what was behind my backdrop, baby. All my stuff. I'm actually going to be transforming my office into more of it, a study. And we're gonna be doing more like a vintage library or a, um, you know, Victorian style library office. So I figure I give you a sneak peek of what is happening. Um, I'm doing a lot of, you know, uh, upgrades to my home. So the floor's going down. I, I'm fixing up my parlor. Got new furniture for my parlor. Finally got rid of um, those couches that I didn't like that I had to put covers over. Um, so I got some new furniture. I still have to put together my sofa. Put together the love seat already. Now I got to put together the sofa after they finish the floors. Um, this room is going to be transformed into a library and study slash where I'm going to film. I'm going to start filming downstairs in the parlor more and around my home so that you guys can see some different backgrounds because um, I'm more I'm focused more on improving my house right now than you know um, anything else um, besides my kids and my family of course but then my house. Um, I was, I was thinking like, but what if any rituals do you suggest? For the best ritual I suggest is the one that brings you what you want or brings you what you need. Um, the ritual of positive thinking, the ritual of focusing on what it is you want to appear in your life every day, read something that has to do with something that you want or need, focus on it. And um, be on the lookout for whatever it is that you're trying to attract. Expect to see it. You know what I'm saying? Those are rituals that I participate in on a daily basis. When I walk out my house, I already know anything that I've been looking for, wanting, or just even been thinking about is going to manifest in my daily life in a positive way. And it does. So that's the ritual that I do every day. And it's only like it starts like in the morning or the night before when you're thinking about something, when you're making your lists, when like some people have Pinterest, some people write down what they want, some people journal, whatever it is. Some people have manifestation journals, which I do. Uh, some people do vision boards. Expect to see that in your daily life, not tomorrow, but something. And don't put only big things on there. Put little things and medium things and big things so that you are going to see something on a daily basis to let you know that it is working okay mix it up baby that's what i do i had a house a makeup palette some perfume and some food all on one page okay this was years and years ago, and now I have all of that, plus more, plus my own makeup palette. My own, I'm redoing my own house. Come on now. It's 
it's it's going to come. Just make sure you make it a daily ritual to make sure you're always focused on what it is that you're trying to attract. Not worried that it's not going to come. Not worried that it's um, may not meant, be meant for you. Just keep focusing on it. That's my daily ritual for every day, no matter what year it is. Mm hmm. You should stop saying you love me. <laughs> well, when you love me, you love yourself, right? Mm hmm. I think when people say they love someone, they, they love what they represent. They love what they, how they communicate. They love how they articulate and say things. Um, so it's, it's not, I'm not taking it personally anymore or like, as, oh my gosh, you really, really love me. Like I'm taking it as you love what I do, what I say and how I say it. So it's fine. Um, how to use a full moon for your benefit? What is your process? <sighs> well, when anything is full, it's very optimistic. So if you can look at the full moon like as a full glass of water. You can look at the full moon as a full bank account, baby. The possibilities are endless. So use whatever it is that you use in its fullness to feel that full and full of you know, whatever it is that you need to feel full of. That's how I do. If I see a full, whenever I see a full moon, I'm like, wow, look how full the moon is. I feel very optimistic and like excited about life. Like all the possibilities. Isn't that what happens when most people see the full moon, they get excited and they just don't know why. They're just like, oh my God, look at the moon. It's so big. It's so full. That's what life is. It's big. It's full. You just have to go and see what it's full of and how big you can dream. So looking at a full moon is the feeling that you get when possibilities are endless. Um, what color am I wearing? I think the colors name, this is not my level up cosmetics lipstick, by the way, because I couldn't get to all of my lipsticks and the color I wanted to wear red today, but I couldn't get to it. Um, but I do have, this one is called Vility or Violet, Vitality. I don't know. It's by Chanel. It's number 138, if y'all can read. It's, uh, is that focused? Okay. That's what I have on. Um, but it's cute. It's a lip plumping formula as well. So, um, so behind me is an old china cabinet that I used to fill with all my knickknacks and things like that. Uh, I'm probably going to be taking a lot of this out and replacing it with some other things and some books or whatnot. I'm just going to be cleaning off out this whole office and redoing the whole thing over and making it more into a study. Um, We'll see. I'll, I'll kind of have sections of the room. I'm going to have like books, my desk, uh, a little table, a working table, uh, another like bookshelf for knickknacks and supplies that I need. And then the closet's going to be mostly storage. Um, and I do have a restroom because this is like a spare bedroom, um, but it's a big one. And that's just, you know, where the cat litter box is and stuff. But it's it's cute still. I have it decorated. Um, do you think it's important to cleanse the things you purchase from the thrift store? Um, I don't think it's important, but if you think it's important, then definitely do it because your thoughts create your reality. Okay. Um, if you, if you have a thing about that and it's on your mind and you feel like there's some type of energy stuck to it, then definitely cleanse it. Um, but you also have to remember science. Energy is a vibration. Energy is um, also a DNA. Uh, if, if whatever it is is porous or whatever, there's going to be energy in it regardless of what you do. So if it makes you feel better inside, then definitely do so. Um, brand new items in a store. Also absorb people's energies who pick it up, touch it, walk by it, stock the shelves, make it, create it. The people that have it shipped on the on the boat over here, if it came from somewhere else, 
all that energy goes into brand new items as well. So if you're going to choose to, you know, what to cleanse and what not to cleanse, just cleanse everything, baby. Me, I know that how energy works. And so it doesn't really bother me as much as it may bother other people. Um, so I'm good. I'm good either way. Uh, I'll, I'll cleanse something that looks haunted. Like if it looks like it's been in the house with a dead body for about two weeks, I might, I might cleanse it, but that's more for uh, sanitation. <laughs> that's more for sanitation. But my Valentine's Day was okay because, like I said, they were putting in floors, so we couldn't, we couldn't really celebrate. So we're going to celebrate Wednesday, hopefully. Um, I did give my kids some Valentine's Day baskets of things that I put together for them. And um, my uh, my anniversary, uh, our wedding anniversary was like a couple days ago. So we celebrated that. And plus my mom's birthday was Sunday and we had a, we gave her a tea party. And then Monday they came in to put the floors in. So I've been super busy. It feels like I've been celebrating for like at least three days. But I do have a Valentine's Day. Day gift on the way from my husband. He says it's something that I want. He already told me what it was. It's a chair for my vanity. He said it's like a just a chair. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Um, do you believe in casting protection circles? If so, if, do you do it every time or on? <sighs> There's my protection circle right there. My breath, baby. Um, if like a, it's all what you feel like you need, there are different levels. I always say there's different levels to belief systems and it's whatever you feel you need, like on your level of knowledge, if you feel like you need a protection circle, then by all means do a protection circle. Some people just use their imagination to create a protection circle. Some people feel like they're naturally protected no matter what anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, it's what you feel you need to do. It's all personal, depending on what you need to do. Uh, yeah, that's how I feel. That's, that's how I feel because it's like, okay. If you take five different people from five different parts of the world and they all have a way to do magic, it's all going to differ. And people are all going to have, you know, positive results if their magic works. And they may do totally different things. This person may not do a circle. This person may do a circle. But mentally, if they don't do a circle and they sit there and throw negative thoughts into their spell work, feeling afraid that they're not protected, then it's going to affect their spell work. But if no one has that um, that um, particular way of doing things and they don't feel that they need a protection circle because they're, they were born protected and whatever – then they're not going to even think about doing one and they're not going to be throwing negative en energy into their spell work because they're not worried about it. So it just depends on what you believe. Um, mm -hmm. What you believe. So I'm not saying it's wrong or right, but if, if you, if you believe in a certain set of rules and steps, and if you miss one of those steps, you feel awkward about the spell work, then definitely don't forget that step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been married 16 years, been together 19 or 20. 20 years. Oh my God. Been together 20 years. I'm old. I've been with the same man for 20 years. <laughs> Must be witchcraft. Anyway, <laughs> how far to decode things we can go too far. If you decode things, make sure it's for fun and for knowledge. Um, I was watching um, some excerpts from Sherlock, the series, and it's almost like, you know, you can go so far as to focusing on how to solve something or figure out some type of mystery or to decode something or life so much that it feels like you're solving a case almost. Um, but when you're not, um, when you're not decoding, it feels like you're actually living and enjoying life. So 
somewhere in between there, I would say somewhere in between feeling like you're solving some type of case to just recognizing what things mean so that you can see the underlying message. I think the healthy in between is just knowing the symbolism and what it means without doing any anything else after that. You know, not chasing the rabbit down the rabbit hole, but just knowing that the rabbit is going down a rabbit hole um, to lead you into more questions or to lead you into a deeper um, decoding session. So for me, I'm like, okay, I know where that goes, but when I get bored, I'll, I'll see what I can do. But right now I'm trying to enjoy and fix my house and do this, this, this and that and redecorate my office. And, you know, when I get bored again, maybe I'll go see what's up, you know? <laughs> so that's the healthy, um, decoding when you are, um, when you know what it is and you don't need to know anything else unless you want to, like it's, it becomes an option. Like, okay, do I want to research this any further or should I focus on something else? Like, and I realized, you know, on my, on my Patreon, I actually love to decode. I get excited. I start typing really fast when I'm, you know, writing out all the stuff. And I do thoroughly enjoy decoding, but it can't be my everyday, all day thing. But that's why I have it on the Patreon. Um, you said you're still the best level up coach. <laughs> no one else is on these spiritual level. And you look, oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, thank you. You said peace, peace, X, X, E, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that you guys hear in the news is also to decode. So I don't know. It's like, I feel like things that people decode, things that people say, things that people do physically are also to reflect on the spiritual realm or the mental or the physical. So um, it's like a ripple. It's like if someone says something on the physical realm, um, something on the spiritual realm happens and then um, it's it's a cue, it's a cue, it's a heads up, it's a warning to other people that fo that follow him what's about to happen spiritually or mentally to them. And then, of course, the physical aspect of it kind of like seals the deal. It's kind of like spell work. You get a candle, you get some ingredients, you get some herbs, and this could be the uh, equivalent to a rocket going somewhere. Now, the words that you speak are the vibration that you're putting into the, uh, the material world and the spiritual world to manifest in some sort of way. So it's going to be a ripple effect. So whatever it is, that's what it is. I don't really care because if I'm not going, I ain't got no ticket and I ain't got that type of money. I don't care. Hey, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, if you're not taking, if you're not giving me any of that rocket money, if I ain't sitting there watching it with you, I don't care. Spark, spark. That's how I am. I've gotten to that point. Like, I don't care. Like, what? Did he got some stuff to decorate my house with? He can, can he give me a bookshelf? Then I don't hear. <laughs> so, like, but if I were to decode it, I would, you know, I'd break it down. I'm like, okay, this what this means, this what that means. But I don't care because, like, I'm busy right now doing other things. And that's his business. And I could care less. Like, I'm not going to be shooting rockets at the moon, you know. It sounds fun. Like a waste of money. I mean, Y'all could donate some money to me so I can get me some bookshelves to house all these books I have. Spark, sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he got to write some off on them taxes. <laughs> See, so he got to write something off on those taxes. So he might as well play with his rockets, baby. <laughs> is this a dress? Oh, no. This is a sweat towel. Hmm. <sighs> I've been dressing more vintage lately and I've been thoroughly enjoying it. It's, it's like um, 
more classic pieces versus trendy pieces and they stay in fashion longer. So yeah. Plus I get more compliments. Mm -hmm. Oh, just if you guys are curious, I did decode the Super Bowl halftime show. It is on my Patreon, thoroughly written and thoroughly typed out along with a, um, a link for the actual live footage of the Super Bowl halftime show. So I did go ahead and decode that for you guys. It is on my Patreon tier two and up. Make sure you, you go um, check that out. Have I seen the movie Don't Look Up? No, because I like to look up and I don't want to watch a movie called Don't Look Up because I like looking up. <laughs> I tend not to watch movies that don't sound like something I don't want. It. Like, I, 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 I like to look up and you're not going to trick me into not looking up. <laughs> so, you don't look up. I, I, got on, I got sunglasses. I can look wherever I want. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, and I got a telescope. I got sunglasses. I have binoculars. I'm going to look where I want. Okay. I got glasses and contacts and I put all them lenses together to tell me how far I see. I'm, at, at some point, I'm not even looking up anymore. I'm looking out. Anyway, you said I can't be tricked. No, but I, <laughs> true, I'll let myself be tricked if I'm bored. I'm like, hey, what y'all got? Sometimes it's a choice. I'm saying, okay, what, like, what are y'all talking about? What tea do I prefer? All tea. <laughs> I drink it all, baby. I'll try all tea. I'm like, okay, today I'll have peppermint. Tomorrow I'll have something else. I'll have uh, Darjeeling. I'll have black currant tea. I have hibiscus tea. I had all tea, baby. Every tea. Well, I don't have all tea, but I have a lot of different teas. Okay. Do I think I can give you a clothing vlog one day? I have I actually have a thrift haul in my car right now waiting. And it's like some cute pieces um, that I bought. Um, classic pieces, like, you know, little sweaters and pants. And I have some skirts. Uh, I don't think I bought skirts this time, but I bought some. I have, I have like a cute little floral dress and things like that. So I don't know. If that's Maybe I'll do that on my other channel. What do you think about Kanye's text message? I don't I didn't read his text message, but I don't have his passcode to his phone. I don't look through his phone. I don't even know Kanye personally. So therefore I couldn't read his text. If I, I don't even read my husband's text half the time. They just stay on unread. Um and if he didn't text me, I'm not reading his text, baby. Spring spring. Until he texts me, y'all still ain't gonna know. I'm like, I won't even tell. <laughs> there you go like I'm not I'm, I don't care Like unless he texted me directly it's still my business I'm not going to read his text online was it a tweet or a text if he tweeted it then it's to the public and I don't read his twitter <laughs> Dassey Matrix no, didn't see Matrix 4. I'm sorry. I thought about watching it until I saw that it was like, wasn't like the other one. So I'm like, no, nah, I like the other one better. You know, this one seems a little different. <laughs> uh huh. You said, be careful my candle don't fall. Oh my God, you just saved my life. Thank you, though. You are only concerned of my safety. I appreciate that. 
But you are right, because the cat could jump up there. And I'm going to blow it out when I leave. Mm -hmm. I've, yeah. So this candle's kind of old. I had, I got that last Valentine's Day and I've been burning a little bit every time I need to in here, but definitely going to be um, burning more candles in here, like scented candles anyway. Um, so I'm going to fix it up like a nice library study. I can't wait for y'all to see. I'm going to do a whole room tour as well when I'm done. Y'all going to, y'all going to like it. I got to put, I got to put in work though. Mm -hmm. I have to de-junk a lot of stuff first, reorganize, and then, and as I'm de-junking, if I find some really good stuff, I might be doing weekly giveaways on my Patreon to give away nice items that people may like, or like if I have some, you know, something that doesn't really go with my aesthetic anymore, I might give it away because I have a lot of nice things that people would love to have um, that I may not be able to use. So I might just go ahead and do a weekly giveaway on my Patreon. And I'll, I'll put the item up too, like so, so people can see what it is. That way it'll be fun and it could be books. It could be um, spiritual items, it could be candle holders or whatever. Um, whatever. Search the internet if I want to buy something. <laughs> but anyway, am I connected still? Since my um, uh, connection is unstable. Okay. Anyway, I, I'm not going to be on here very much longer, but uh, I, I do have one set of, uh, I'll give you a, um, I do have a set of these spirit, spirit animal oracle cards that I'll probably be giving away um, because I have one that's not even opened yet. And I also have another set of cards, um, I think they're tarot or oracle that hasn't been opened and that, that's, that are still sealed. I'm going to give you all new stuff and if I do if it is used or if I've used it before I will let you guys know that it is a pre-loved item um, before I do the giveaway what is my spirit animal um I don't know I, I like <laughs> I mean I love cats so that's probably gonna be what it is <laughs> love cats Be careful that can. Okay, you already read. I already read that one. It's like, I'm trying to read. What's okay? Nice necklace, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. This is a gift. Um. Mm hmm. I think either my mom gave this to me for Christmas one year, or Valentine's. One of those. My mom gave this to me. And y'all see, I'm going gray. Or I have my gray highlights out today. <laughs> I have my gray highlights. Y'all don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to show y'all that. My grays. That's just my wisdom. That's my wisdom. <laughs> you said I'm, I'm aging backwards, but I still, I still have grays. It's okay, though. Um, How many of y'all have grays? How many of y'all dye your hair? Uh, you didn't notice, notice my highlights? Oh my gosh, good. Because they're not highlights, they're just gray. <laughs> Glad you didn't notice. You dye your gray. You can't see the gray? That's wonderful. That means I don't have too many. I cut my hair in a little short bob. I might, I don't know, I've been liking wearing it curly because it's so easy. You just wake up and sprinkle, sprinkle some, you know, water and some hair uh, product on it and just go. <laughs> I, I, I've gotten a new wig that they want me to do a review for on my other channel. So I'm probably gonna do that next week when everything is back to normal. 
but I have been enjoying wearing my hair in its natural state at this short length because it's so quick and easy. I don't have to worry about it. And it's, it's like a classic bob style. So I'm not too worried about whatever. And I can throw a headband on. It looks cute either way. I can still put it in a bun when I go walking, what, go to sleep or whatever. Um, you said you dream about cats? Girl. Well, I haven't gotten to that level yet where I start dreaming about cats. I'm not, I'm not that much of a cat lady yet. But I start dreaming about them, baby. Uh, I, I still dream about people now. I still dream about people. All right. <laughs> still dreaming about them peoples. Hmm. <laughs> You say you went great during the lockdown. You will never die again. Okay, I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of people start wearing their gray hair, and it's like so strange because like we live in a society where people dye their hair to stay looking youthful, which is which is what I would do. But then all of a sudden, like I've started seeing more people that are looking that look young, that are still wearing like that have decided to wear their gray hair. I'm like, dang. Um, and in a lot of other countries, they people gray uh, age gracefully, and they don't dye their hair. They let their gray become gray. And I've noticed that. Like my mom, she doesn't dye her hair anymore. She's just going gray. And uh, a lot of people that live in different countries and different cultures, they allow themselves to go gray. Not all, but like just some. And it's just in interesting to see when people start doing that more. It's like why don't you dye your hair? And then you think about it. Well, a long time ago, like maybe a hundred or, you know, 150 years ago, people didn't rush to dye their hair. They just allowed themselves to go gray. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be me, but I'll try to cover it up as long as I can. You know? <laughs> You said try sporting Afro puffs. I don't think that's the aesthetic that I'm going for. Um, I feel like I'm too old because uh, like my daughter, Layla, she wears her, her natural hair in two, like, two little ponytails or puffs. But I think I'm a little bit too old for that. Like I couldn't do that and get away with it at 43. But definitely my daughter likes that hairstyle. <laughs> Your mom here is silver and you call her silver. <laughs> uh huh. You said I should go to Philadelphia. Well, if I ever need a reason to go there, um, then I might, but I, as for now, I don't have a reason to go there. I mean, like maybe vacation type deal, but I have no reason to go there right now. You said I look good with and without gray. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Is that true? Okay. You said the shops and food. Okay. What kind of shops do they have? Like, I, I'm curious. <laughs> what, what are their, uh, what are they known for? Like, you know, shop wise. Um, You said girly stuff, you know, pretty women like. <laughs> okay. Well, I like stuff. Okay. <laughs> Who gonna buy stuff? That's the problem. For sprinkle. <laughs> Can you start 
a fast challenge. Do it with others would be motivated. Yeah. Um, run fast to the refrigerator. Uh -huh. I don't do fast. <laughs> um, and I don't do challenges, baby. Y'all should know me by now. If you don't, then you knew. I don't do fasting or nor challenge. The only time I fast is when I have no choice. And the only time I do a challenge is if it's a joke and I'm the challenging myself. I don't do challenges and I don't do fast. If I ever do a fast, you won't even know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Life's too short to not eat. Life's not really short, but I'm just saying enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Don't overindulge, but enjoy. If you're fasting for spiritual purposes, then fast for spiritual purposes. That's fine. But I don't fast just because it's a fad or because I have any spiritual purpose. I fast when there's no choice. <laughs> okay. Third world country and ask them to fast as a challenge. And they're going to look at you crazy. Okay. Life is not meant... For, in my opinion, life is meant to thoroughly enjoy and not worry about certain things and do things in moderation. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't hop on fads and I don't do things because everyone else is doing them. That's not who I am. That's not what I represent. Mm. If I like an idea, I will implement it in something that I do. If I like if I feel inspired by something, I will definitely take what I like as far as the inspiration is. But I am not one of those people that um, do all those types of things. Mm -hmm. Unless y'all want to pay to join the challenge, <laughs> then I'll become that person real quick. Who wants to join the challenge? Here you go. Ten dollars to join my challenge, and then y'all will do the challenge, and I won't. So I'm just telling y'all. I'm. <laughs> um, you need some help with going vegan. You can't let the steak go. Oh, the steak, girl! I let steak go when I was 19 years old. Um, start with giving up seafood chicken, pork, then work your way up to uh, beef, baby. You, you can do it. Work your way there. Do it in baby steps until you don't even want it anymore. There's no rush. Okay. There you go. Let's take your time. There are criminals who are targeting me and trying to kill you by witchcraft and some kind of energy work. All at the same time, they got inside your brain. They did. Then kick them out. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You don't know how to kick them out? Is there a way to get them out? Honestly, ignore, forget. Who cares? Somebody would say twerk. Somebody would say play Michael Jackson. Someone would say ignore. <laughs> uh, I don't think they're trying to kill you, though. I think that's... Um, more of what you may have concluded. <laughs> I 
then continue to live and do the opposite. <laughs> you know, live your life. Don't worry about it. That's the best advice anyone can do. Just keep living, do what you want to do. Do things that make you happy. Be around people that make you happy. Continue to do everything that you enjoy. In fact, do more of what you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Um, do more of what you enjoy. Have more fun. Do more fun things. Dress how you want to dress. Eat like you want to eat but in moderation. And continue to live the best life that you can. Definitely. Don't even worry about that. It's, it's kind of like... If you have um, those people that keep calling my phone, I'm still going to be this to answer. I'm just going to not even bother. I'm going to delete all recent calls, the voicemails that they leave. Because you know why? I don't know these people. And I don't want to know. Delete, delete, delete. All voicemail, delete it. No choice. Okay. Allow yourself to just ignore and keep going. And, and live even better than you were before. Okay, that's the best way. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. Ever since you watched those commercials with the starving, you eat with gratitude. Exactly, eat your food. America's so rich; they got a they got America so rich and. The people are so fat, they have to organize challenges to lose weight. Sprint, sprint. So fat, but when you too fat to lose weight. If, if that's all you wanted to say, if you wanted to say it was fat, then say I'm fat. I prefer that. Then you say, let's organize a, a fast. <laughs> okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. I helped many of y'all deal with 2020 for real. Well, good for y'all. It was a year to be dealt with, I guess. I seem to be in a better place. I've been in the same place, except I'm just having a better perspective. Mm -hmm. No, when you have, it's all about perspective. How you look at things and how you feel about things. You said they inside your head speaking to your head, sucking your mental energy. Then talk back to them, baby. Make jokes to them. Make them laugh, baby. Do what you got to do. Look, you're going to talk to me. I'm going to talk to you. If people are in your head, talk back. Sing them a song. Be silly. The, the best way to get rid of them is to make fun of them and ignore them, baby. Do whatever you want to do. I said, live your best life. If people are targeting you, it's for a reason. They don't just target anybody. Come on now. You must be. You must be special, baby. Figure out why you're special. And then do more of that what makes you special. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You to make the joke on them. I know, girl. I the best, I'll just make you a playlist. I'll give, you, I'll give you a whole playlist. Rockwell, I always feel like, okay, put that on your playlist. Put Leave Me Alone by Michael Jackson. Put, um, make, you a, make you a playlist and play it on them, okay? And, and laugh about it. Turn, like the, that movie, The Joker, turn your tragedy into a comedy, okay? Learn to laugh. It's a joke. It's a whole joke. Learn to laugh. Do the opposite of what they want you to do. If they suck in your energy, then take B12. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Go to sleep. Take a nap on them. Shoot. Twerk in the mirror naked on them. I don't know. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All you got to do, make your playlist. Play it. Have fun with it. It's a joke. <laughs> Level it up, baby. You said that's the shadow work. Well, make shadow work funny. There you go.
<laughs> mm -hmm. Take whatever it is, make it into a joke. Y'all, you remember that part on Harry Potter where the Dementors were coming at them and they had to change whatever it was into something funny? Like they did like somebody, like a roller skate on snakes or a clown or something like that. That's what you got to do. That's it. Sparkle, sparkle. Uh oh, Nathaniel, sparkle, sparkle. Um, so get you some B12, go to sleep, make you a playlist, laugh at everything that they're attempting to do or that that's attempting to affect you. And then just focus on what you want to do. You said comedians do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Make you a playlist. First of all, you're going to start laughing. And you'll also see what a lot of other people had to go through as well. And so you don't feel alone. That's number one. Make yourself a playlist. Maybe journal and write some stuff down. Laugh. Watch comedies. You know. Um, if you have a bad thought that you don't want to think, then think of something else. Just, you know. Or, you know, write something down or be creative, paint something, I don't know, draw something, color something, go walk, but do something and eventually it'll all go away and you'll be fine. Okay, sparkle, sparkle. You said make jokes to them. I make some jokes. You'll, you'll probably laugh more than you've ever laughed before because that's how funny that is. <laughs> Get your playlist together. That's the funniest part. <laughs> okay. I will see y'all on the next one. Do I have, have I been painting? I actually, the last time I painted was weeks ago, but like I said, I've been doing a lot of planning because I have to do my mom's birthday, my anniversary is coming up, I redecorating the house, so I have not, but I've been creative in other ways. Uh, definitely been painting a lot, but I need to paint more. Once I get this office set up, I'm going to have like an area where I can paint in here um, in my study. So it's going to be fun. I will show y'all. I'm trying to get everything organized so that I can be more efficient in the things I like to do and the things I have to do uh, so it doesn't feel so um, like, oh my God, I have to do this in order for me to do that. I'll just be able to go from room to room, station to station, and just have everything laid out the way I like it. That's why I'm taking the time to organize and you know re redo and upgrade my home. So I'm going to make everything super easy and um, accessible to what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. All right. Okay. No, taking the carpet out, putting the wood in. Mm -hmm. Um, finally, he says organizing matters. I'm not focused so much on the organization of it, but I'm focused more on how I want it to look and how I want it to be. You know, I'm not going to get lost in a world of like some people get lost in a world of making sure everything's correctly organized, like that old TV stuff. I'm not going to do that. I like my stuff, you know, very random. But at the same time, I also like to create and I also like to think that I like, um, to reorganize things, how uh, I want them to look. It's possible to sing a few bars or something. You have a great singing voice. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't even know what to sing. <laughs> All right. So glad you are here this afternoon. Thanks. Thanks everyone who donated. I appreciate you guys. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If y'all couldn't donate and y'all want to donate, uh -huh. I'm gonna put my cash app down there. Y'all go ahead and cash at me if y'all want to donate to my 
upgrade and organizing my beautiful office space for you guys so I can film more with no backdrops. <laughs> okay. And also make sure y'all tune in to the movie night on my Patreon, tier two and up. That means you have to join tier two or tier three in order to be a part of the movie night. And we're going to do three prizes. I'm going to give three things away. And the announcement of the winners will be on the end of the movie night on the live video and it will be posted up on the Patreon. Who won? And I'm going to give away two of my books, autographs, and one set of cards, Oracle or Tarot card, depending on which one that I can find that are still in the package and sealed. So you guys are going to be able to get that. Um, and I'm going to allow you guys to comment and stuff on the on the um, the video while we're watching it live. And um, I'm going to have on headphones. So you're not going to be able to see the movie, but we'll start watching the movie at the same time. And I'll be making comments and maybe decoding some of it. Not all of it, but some of the movie and answering some of y'all's questions about the movie. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we're going to be watching Eve's Bayou. It's close to Mardi Gras. I think they were in what? Were they in Louisiana? Or they was in the South. So close to Mardi Gras time. We can watch Eve's Bayou. I'll do some decoding on that. And it's just for fun. Enjoy. This is the first time I'm doing this. So it'll be, um, have, you know, be patient with me. Hopefully I'll be in my parlor with my new furniture. If not, I'll be up here. And Layla may join me, my daughter. We don't know yet. It just depends on how she um, feels that day. And we'll go from there. You watch Ease by You already? Oh my gosh. So you're already caught up then. Yes, I've seen it too. But I, I just chose that movie because, like, you know, it's Mardi Gras time. It's like vintage, nostalgic. It's, it has witchcraft in it, voodoo you know, fortune telling, plus it's something good to decode. And uh, I feel like it was just a good choice. And maybe in the future, I'll give you guys, you know, a choice on like if in the Patreon, what you guys want to watch, or maybe y'all can suggest some movies for the future movie nights. I'm going to have popcorn, snacks, I'm going to have all that stuff set up. So I might be in some cozy pajamas, or I might be dressed up like, you know, the, the era that they were in. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel and what's going on downstairs. So I'm definitely going to make it something worth watching. Um, and I'm going to put a lot of effort into, you know, the aesthetics and all that kind of stuff with the setup in the future. Definitely. So that's going to be something fun for me to do. So I get to like set up stuff, put up some production, have some props and maybe some costume or I don't know. We don't know. We'll see. Just something fun, you know. Am I okay? Um, I don't see why I wouldn't be. <laughs> I don't see why I wouldn't be. I don't think there's anything wrong. I'm actually more than okay. I'm having fun. I'm getting everything I want. Okay, look. Upgrades. So oh, New Orleans, yeah. I'm about to get me a whole outfit together, some a whole table setting, some vintage dishes. I mean, I'm going all out. Y'all gonna see it. Might as well, right? <laughs> don't don't be mad. Just see what you could do too. Okay. <laughs> get 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 your stuff ready too. Get your little tea set out, or get your little lemonade pitcher out with your little cup and your straw get your 50s dress out your 60s dress out get your little vintage hairdo going i don't know have fun with it i mean life is meant to be enjoyed hmm. if you want to dress up like the fortune teller get your scarves out you know dress head head uh turban get all of that do what you want like that's like my daughter went to school today in cosplay. I did not stop her because this is life. What you want. Okay. 
Have fun. Do what you want. Make everything extra. That way you feel like you've actually experienced what you wanted to experience. You know? <laughs> so you got some lace. Yeah, girl. Get, get all your... Get, when else do you get to have fun like this? This is why I'm doing this. So people can, you know, feel okay to express themselves in different ways, even if it's just with some crazy lady on YouTube, okay? This is fun, right? People people worry so much about how they look and appear to other people that they forget to actually have fun and live for themselves. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I might even cook them. Um, I think I bought some, like, stuff to make gumbo and etouffee or, like, some type of... Um, Creole Cajun or Cajun food for I don't know if I'm gonna make it, but I'm definitely gonna have some snacks and some popcorn up there. Okay. So y'all have fun and I'll see y'all on the next one. And hopefully I'll see y'all this Thursday on the Patreon live movie night. The link is at the top and I'll definitely link it again so you guys can have it. Tier two and up. Okay. Tier um yeah, I think it's tier two and up. All right. Bye. You said get the mad hat hat. I got so many hats, I probably got one. <laughs>